Welcome back, everybody. So this is really exciting. We have great music that we're about to show you that you can listen to at home. But this is all for a really good cause, a special concert happening. So thank you all for joining us. Great to have everyone here. Um, I want to start with you, actually. Uh, so tell us about the event that will be happening. It's this week, right? No, that's right. We've got 4,800 students from all over San Diego 4, County. 4,800. They're going to be coming <laughs> to the Balboa Theater to see Classics for Kids concert. We're kicking off our 30th anniversary season. And I'm so proud to have our professional orchestra, and we have guest artists from Southwestern College Mariachi Woo! Program, which yes, is so we do. exciting. <laughs> Sorry, I just went straight to the question. Tell That's us your right. name and your yeah, title. Sure. <laughs> my name is Dana Zimbrick. I'm the artistic director and conductor for Classics for Kids. Awesome. It's a delight to be here. Oh. Artistic director. So to know that 4,800 kids will be yeah. able to listen to this kind of music, that's exactly. pretty special. It's so special. You know, one of the things, we've done this for a long time, understanding the importance of exposing children to arts and music. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly during the pandemic, a lot of kids didn't get to go on field trips. So bringing it back and having yeah. a full theaters of all these kids, this is why we're here. We're here to bring the mission of, and beauty and joy of music to kids. Okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. Classics for kids. So yes. Dr. Nevin, if we could talk to you too about this type of music. Why do you love it so much? You clearly <laughs> have been doing it for a, quite a long time. Sure. Well, I've been, <laughs> I've been playing mariachi music since I, I'm, I'm not Mexican. My, my, my folks are, are from other parts okay. of the world. But um, I started playing mariachi music when I was younger than these guys, when I was like 15 years old. 15 and years old. Yeah, it's, it's been my whole life. And so at that young age, you just were drawn to it? You know, I, I already played <laughs> music a little bit, but as soon as I heard the mariachi, somebody invited me to play in this group, and just the music is so oh. infectious. And yeah. whether or not you understand the words, it's, it's just really fun and really lively. And then later on, when I began to learn to speak Spanish and learn a little bit more about the music, then you realize that there really is a depth mm -hmm. behind the music, which is actually very similar to classical music. You can say, wow, that sounds real pretty, but the more that you listen to it, the more that you see what's inside. Mariachi music is like that too. I love that. And so you're also, these are your students. Yeah, I took down the fresh, <laughs> I, I've been teaching at Southwestern College since 1998. Okay. So yeah, close wow. to 25 years um, at the college. Amazing. And, uh, that's before you guys were born. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Way before, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, to be able to see so many students come through your classes yeah. and watch them perform like this, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, we have a lot of students that, that are mariachi teachers now, mm -hmm. um, professional mariachis. I have Grammy winners. The, the, the Grammys awesome. were just awarded. So, yeah. so some of my former students are playing with some of the groups that have been nominated. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's really amazing. <laughs> That's huge. So what's it like to be part of Classic for Kids? You know, we've done this, was this the third time mm -hmm. that we've mm -hmm. done this? Yeah, and it's just, it's a wonderful organization. They've they've been around more than 25 years also. <laughs> you've been doing it. And um, it's just, I mean, to see when they bring all the kids in and then to be able to demonstrate the, I mean, the best music in the world. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, there's so much music in the world, but when we combine the mariachi with the classical music and it's just to see the way that it, it, it grabs the kids. I mean, it's the same thing that happened when I heard the mariachi for the first time when I was a kid. Yeah. Now we have the opportunity to present that to the younger people. And like Dana said, especially these last few years, I mean, so so kids that are in elementary school mm -hmm. that have been in the pandemic for two or three years, this right. is the first time they've ever had a chance to have pr school in presence and then to actually go mm -hmm. out and, and experience something like that. That's this. So awesome. Really cool. I mean, to be able to introduce this music to them, they may love it the way you do. That's the yeah. hope, right? Yeah. Well, I, well, I know they will. Because, <laughs> they uh, will. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody does. I love that. I'm so glad you're able to put this on. Again, tell us real quick when and where is it going to yeah. be happening? So the concerts are this Thursday and Friday okay. at the Balboa Theater. And unfortunately, they're sold out, but you can find out more about Classics for Kids on our website, classicsforkids.org. Okay. We have more concerts coming up later in the season. Um, but yeah, Thursday, Friday morning. So if you happen to be downtown, you'll see a lot of buses too. You'll see <laughs> the buses. Down there, you yeah. may be able to hear it from across the street yeah, or something. Right, maybe. Uh, but not to worry, if you didn't get tickets to this, we have a special performance for you right now. So we're going to let you all take it away. Bye. Bye. 